Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome uh, to this exciting cricket happening show today and well finally that 200 test match uh, started yesterday at the Vankade Stadium in Mumbai uh, for the local boy Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar and definitely the crowd uh, even though they were disappointed initially when actually Dhoni actually won the toss in the second test match of the series uh, and elected to field. It came as a surprise for many, but uh, Dhoni definitely apologized for that. But uh, one thing uh, that uh, the, the Mumbai fans didn't miss is they didn't miss Sachin Tendulkar's batting as he carved out an exquisite 38 runs, 38 unbeaten runs of uh, with six boundaries and all those boundaries that he hit were all trademark shots. Uh, one was the punch that he placed uh, down the offside uh, then that uh, very, very characteristic uh, straight drive that he plays uh, with absolutely gay abandon uh, as he, he just balled, the ball was just merely pushed by Tendulkar and it went past uh, mid-on in the sense, uh, went past Darren Sammy the baller uh, and into the fence uh, it went. And also, as I said, he plays some exquisite shots, uh, the, the stroke of the legs, as you know, these are the strokes that uh, the whole uh, world is going to miss as far as Sachin Tendulkar is concerned and as I said to the 200 test is the last test match for Sachin Tendulkar but one only hopes that uh, once again Sachin Tendulkar also gets a chance to play in the second innings as uh, the, the situation which was there uh, was a similar situation to what West Indies uh, found themselves uh, in the first test once again the West Indies batting uh, really really letting itself down uh, but uh, one thing that I would like to say here uh, is that uh, the pitch was, uh, uh, in fact I thought um, uh, Dhoni uh, actually did the right thing uh, in actually winning the toss and electing to bat because um, what what they did, they, re they, they, they gained the initiative right away by bowling out West Indies for 182 at the Vankade Stadium here in Mumbai. Uh, and uh, well, uh, for West Indies there were two changes. Uh, uh, they, as you know, Kemar Rosh has gone back, so Shannon Gabriel uh, got his uh, opportunity as you know he has already made his debut he has played a few test matches against England as we all know uh, and Narsing Dino Ryan uh, also uh, came uh, into the team uh, which um, I, I mean he plays he came in place of uh, uh, Cottrell I suppose uh, in the sense uh, Cottrell has, I mean Gabriel has uh, replaced uh, Cottrell uh, and uh, uh, one has to really and uh, Narsing Dino Ryan was also inducted into the team now uh, as far as uh, uh, this particular uh, match was concerned, I mean, as I said, the pitch, uh, Mumbai pitch is always a pitch which actually helps the bowlers. Uh, there was a bit of moisture in the morning when there is a bit of moisture, it helps the uh, ball to move in the air. Um, there is some swift breeze coming in, as you know, it is down the seaside there, so there is a swift breeze which is blowing. Uh, and um, there was a very good even bounce of the pitch, in fact, the ball was uh, bouncing. Uh, and that's the precise reason West Indies is also guilty uh, of uh, playing a few loose strokes, especially uh, the captain himself, Darren Sammy, not leading by example uh, by playing a slop sweep, slop sweep stroke, uh, which brought his downfall for a duck. Uh, and uh, West Indies uh, found it very, very difficult. In fact, if you look at the bowling, uh, the bowling was absolutely splendid uh, from the Indians. Uh, I mean, they they really, really, uh, you know, lived up to uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, the captain's uh, uh, captain's uh, decision of actually winning the toss and uh, putting the opposition into bat and West Indies again found themselves into a very very struggling position as they were all out for 182. Now, looking at the bowling figures, uh, Bhuneshwar Kumar uh, bowled superbly, got the ball uh, to jag in and jag out uh, and he bowled sp uh, splendidly and the reward for him was a testing over to Shivanar and Chandrapal where he had Chandrapal all at sea with his bowling and then he had some remarkable figures to show for himself of 17 overs, 2 maidens, 45 rounds and 1 wicket. Mohamed Shami, well he also did his job uh, of uh, the, the main thing that he did was uh, got a most important wicket of uh, Chris Gale when uh, Chris Gale was gone, got a ball which actually lifted on him uh, and all he could see is that uh, Sharma was actually uh, picking up the catch, Rohit Sharma picking up the catch uh, of the bowling of Mohamed Shami for 11. Uh, with 1-4. Uh, so Gail, uh, so that was the breakthrough and uh, Mohamed Shami also bowled uh, very well, 12 overs, 2 maidens, 1 for 36, but I thought Bhuvaneshwar Kumar was the pick of the bowlers as far as pace bowling was concerned. Uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin uh, did his bit 
uh, in bowling excellently. He bowled an excellent line, uh, and definitely uh, Darren Bravo actually uh, played some uh, uh, played some very very powerful stroke of the bowling of Ashwin to just uh, put him off uh, when he played a shot which was absolutely slashed. Uh, over uh, with a tremendous force and timing by Darren Bravo for a six and then he also hit him for a four but Ashwin had his man as uh, Darren Bravo uh, got a ball which actually uh, the, I mean there is also a turn available on the pitch so everything that the bowler needs is available so the turn that he got actually uh, got uh, Darren Bravo to uh, go on his uh, forward defense but uh, only as much as getting an edge on to the bat uh, which was absolutely snaffled by the wicketkeeper Dhoni behind the stumps and Darren Bravo has gone for 29 uh, with uh, five boundaries. Uh, after that, Kiron Powell, who has looked uh, absolutely the part in the first test match too, uh, continued his good work. He was um, uh, interspersing his defense with some very good strokes that he plays, uh, and he was looking uh, pretty solid at the other end when Marlon Samuels joined him. But uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin, well, as I said, uh, he bowled well, 15 overs, two maidens, 45 runs and three wickets. Uh, Pragyan Oja was the man who finally had the, I mean, I was a bit wondering when, um, when you know, before lunch we saw Mohamed Shami operating, uh, even though Marlon Samuels definitely was struggling against Bhuvaneshwar Kumar and Marlon against uh, Mohamed Shami. Uh, he, was, he took a long, way, long time to actually get off the mark and Marlon Samuels was absolutely shaky. But after lunch is the time that Marlon Samuels started scoring. But Pragyan Oja was the man uh, who actually picked up a five-wicket haul uh, with a turn. And I was also his thinking, uh, that uh, you know why Pragyan Oja was not seen before lunch but uh, well Pragyan Oja finally showed everybody uh, what he is capable of with bowling superbly getting the ball to really turn uh, the bounds also aiding him and Pragyan Oja returning figures uh, in fact he was the one who got the last wicket when West Indies all out for 182 with Pragyan Oja bowling 11.2 overs 2 maidens 40 runs and a 5 wicket uh, back for him what a splendid bowling spell from Pragyan Oja and uh, well, Ashwin is all out for 182. Now, Kiran Powell contributed 48 uh, with four fours and one six. Uh, as I said, Samuels uh, was looking all it seen in the sense he was really, really struggling. But then uh, Marlon Samuels uh, was dismissed by Pragyan Oja for 19 with three fours. Uh, Shivnara and Chandra Paul, uh, well, in his 150th uh, test match, he started off in pretty aggressive fashion uh, by hitting a six and a boundary. But uh, Chandra Paul. As I said, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar bowled a very, very testing over to Chandra Paul, um, really beating him a couple of times um, uh, out, outside the stumps. And uh, Chandra Paul uh, was a victim of Bhuvaneshwar Kumar as he definitely, definitely deserved that wicket at because that was a beauty of a delivery from uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar which actually moved out and Ashwin taking the catch. So Chandra Paul was gone for 25, the two fours and one six. So the danger man was gone because Chandra Paul is the one who can really uh, stand like a rock um, uh, in, in, in front of the opposition but he was gone and after that uh, Narsim Dinarayan got an opportunity uh, made 21 with 1-4 and 1-6 was a victim of Ashwin uh, and uh, after that uh, it was all over for West Indies as uh, West Indies uh, totally totally collapsed they were as I said uh, this was a similar pattern to what they followed in the first test they have not learned their lessons 86 for 2 and they were finally uh, all out for uh, 182. So that tells you that the other eight wickets folded for just 96 runs. After that, uh, Dan and Sammy, as I said, uh, being the captain, uh, he could have played in a more sensible manner than the, what he did. He tried to actually slot sweep Ashwin, uh, Sharma taking the catch. He was gone for a duck. And after that, Schillingford was also LBW bowled Oja for a duck. Tino Best was Scott Dhoni bowled Oja for a duck. And, and then Oja completed the formalities by getting Shannon Gabriel. Uh, caught behind for one and that was Dinesh Ramadin the wicket keeper was left not out on 12 the two fours and West Indies uh, in the second test match on the first day itself were all out for 182 in reply uh, India uh, pro, pro, in Indian play, uh, batting well they did uh, pretty well uh, there was uh, nothing that the Pacers could do Shannon Gabriel was not impressive with the six overs for 32 runs uh, Darren Swamy bowled six overs for 27 so there was nothing in for the Pace bowlers couldn't, as I said, in the morning there was some nip in the atmosphere, the, the moisture uh, which was actually helping the bowlers uh, aid the swing and seam moment. But uh, as far as um, the Indian innings were concerned, uh, it was uh, pretty difficult for Dan Swamy and Gabriel to do anything of that sort. Uh, and then once again, uh, they had to rely on the spin of, uh, in fact, Tino Best was also 
uh, not looking good. In fact, he also bowled five overs for 27. Marlon Samuels five overs, no maiden, none for 17. And then uh, Shane Sillingford, the right arm spinner, who did pretty well against India in the first test, once again had to be uh, relied upon uh, by the uh, captain Darren Sammy. And Sillingford definitely delivered as he was the one who actually broke this uh, opening partnership which was going uh, in a very nice manner with uh, Murli Vijay also stroking the ball freely and smoothly. Shikhar Dhawan as usual uh, doing the same but uh, finally the first wicket to go was uh, Murli Vijay as uh, Murli Vijay was uh, caught by Sammy of the bowling of Schillingford for 43 with 8 fours. That made the score 77 for 1 and then there was a huge roar but uh, Chateshwar Pujara was the one uh, at, who, drop, who walked in at one drop uh, and then once that uh, um, uh, once Schlingford actually uh, what he did is he actually took uh, two wickets in the in the uh, in the same over itself uh, first he dismissed Murli Vijay for 43 and then Shikhar Dhawan after making 33 was a victim uh, caught by Chandra Paul of the bowling of Schlingford for 33 with seven fours and India score uh, in that over where Schlingford took two wickets uh, stood at 77 uh, for two so both the openers were back and then there was a huge roar at the Wankhede Cricket Stadium as the Maestro, the Maestro who is playing his penultimate innings according to me uh, in the Sachin Tendulkar Test Series uh, in the second test at the Wankhede Stadium against West Indies walked out. Uh, he actually uh, kissed the, uh, the turf uh, where he has uh, been, uh, he has been uh, I would say, uh, he has been uh, brought up. He actually kissed the uh, turf and uh, 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 touched the uh, turf on the Wankhede Stadium uh, and actually put it onto his forehead, uh, saying that you know, thanking that uh, uh, particular uh, ground uh, for giving him so much uh, that he has longed for. Uh, and finally, uh, Tendulkar was walking amidst absolutely great roars at the Wankhede Cricket Stadium amidst chants of Tendulkar, Tendulkar, uh, and you know, we are not going to see this once again. And what a moment uh, it was when Tendulkar was walking uh, to take the crease. And uh, Chiteshwar Pujara was at the other end. Chiteshwar Pujara, uh, well, he was showing some solid defense uh, and playing. And Sajin Tendulkar, as soon as I already talked about it, he played some exquisite strokes uh, along with Chiteshwar Pujara, also playing an exquisite cover drive uh, to be uh, making, uh, I, mean, I mean, really giving good company to Tendulkar. In fact, from 77 for to uh, India, uh, the, the, this, this pair had taken the score on to close of play on the first day of the uh, second test here the 200th test of the Sachin Tendulkar see of, uh, of, of, of Sachin Tendulkar at 157 for 2 was the final score for India with Tendulkar uh, not uh, I mean really really regaling uh, the Mumbai fans there uh, at the Vankarish Cricket Stadium which was absolutely chock a block yesterday because of Sachin Tendulkar playing his final test because everybody wants to have a glimpse of him and they definitely got their money's worth here as Sachin Tendulkar was an unbeaten 38 with uh, 6 boundaries Chateshwar Pujara was not a 34 with 4 boundaries and India 157 for 2 and now the lead in fact uh, uh, it, it is so fitting uh, that, uh, um, that, uh, that India are absolutely on the ascendant in this particular match right now at 157 for 2 uh, and uh, everybody uh, at the Mumbai Cricket Vankade Cricket Stadium would be hoping that Sachin Tendulkar goes on to make a century. Why not? And uh, not only that, uh, for, for me, uh, being from uh, Mumbai, uh, it is uh, pretty sad that I'm here in Toronto, Canada, um, uh, actually uh, talking about the game. I would have wished, how I wish, that I was there uh, to see Sachin Tendulkar uh, in life and blood uh, at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai and watching the match uh, from the VIP uh, enclosure. Well, unfortunately, that is not to be, but, well, I can definitely, definitely, uh, you know, what do you call, um, uh, and recreate uh, the scene that would have been when Sajin Tendulkar was batting there. Uh, what a player. Tendulkar, not out 38. And, um, well, uh, I, for West Indies, well, they have to really, really uh, put the pressure on India and get the wicket pretty quickly, otherwise it is going to be too late. Yes, there will be some moment tomorrow in the morning uh, for Shannon Gabriel and uh, Dan Sami and Tino Best and probably if they could actually nip up a few wickets uh, pretty quickly uh, that would augur well for West Indies. Whether they are able to do that, that remains to be seen and also the spinners uh, will get some more turn probably. But uh, well, as I said, everybody are waiting 
and uh, today is that going to be the day when Sachin Tendulkar is on his final test match uh, of his international career would be scoring a century uh, at his uh, local ground the, at the Vankade Stadium in Mumbai. Well, good luck to Sachin Tendulkar for doing so. Well, uh, dear fans and subscribers, uh, uh, as far as uh, this report is concerned, it's almost over. But uh, just wanting to uh, say something before I go. As yesterday, as I, s I told you that in the T20 match, it was absolutely a piece of cake for uh, South Africa uh, to win the first T20 match. Uh, as you know, Pakistan were restricted to 98 for 9. And South Africa winning the match by 9 wickets, with Hashi Mamla, the only wicket gone for 13. And Quit and Decock uh, was not out on 48 of 38 balls with 3 fours and 2 sixes. Duplessis was not out 37 of 40 balls, 4 fours and 1 six. It was all over. Uh, in fact, uh, Pakistan uh, losing the match. And the second T20 match uh, is going to be played tomorrow at Dubai. Well, uh, dear fans and subscribers, as uh, the, the focus was on Sachin Tendulkar, uh, I had had to talk more about this India and uh, so in India and uh, West Indies uh, test match. So uh, I'm going to leave you, dear fans, friends, and subscribers of Cricket Happenings, uh, and uh, by wishing good luck to Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar for scoring a century uh, on the second day of the second test match between India and West Indies at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai and Sachin Tendulkar once again good luck to you that ends my cricket happening show thank you